Welcome back. I and Shu brought the intensity it took to beat Wichita State. The Sycamores went toe to toe the entire game with the second ranked Shockers. But I and head coach Greg Lansing said coming into tonight's game, his team had little margin for error. ISU made a couple of key mistakes in the final seconds that cost them big time. I'll give the ISU students credit. They lined up outside the Holman Center in the cold more than two hours before tip. And look at this, 9,245 fans filled the Holman Center. Biggest crowd in years, and it was electric. Now, Wichita State is used to playing in front of big crowds. Didn't phase them. They jumped out to a quick 7-0 lead. ISU seemed a little rattled early by the big crowd, but they started feeding off the Sycamore faithful. Christian Smith's layup. Cuts ISU's deficit to 2018. Manny Arop went crazy late in the first half. The ISU senior over two Wichita State defenders. Then look at the hustle from Arop. Gets the offensive board off one leg. He hits the 10-footer. Manny scored nine points in the final 318 of the first half. Arop was filling it. Time winding down to end the half. Manny says... Take this second rank, Wichita State. Are you kidding me, Manny? That jumper cuts ISU's deficit to one at the half, 36-35. Sycamore's in the half on a 13-5 run. Manny would stay hard, hot to start the second half. He had 15. His bank shot gives the Sycamores their only lead at the game, 37-36. Clay Anthony early showed why he's a Wooden Award nominee as one of the top players in the country. He scored the game's next five points. Wichita State would stretch their lead to 11 in the second half. Look at this. They're doing the wave at the Holman Center. Kudos to the fans. They did their part tonight. Jake Odom would trim Wichita State's 11-point deficit to four. Nice scoop shot. ISU down 52-48. ISU just kept hanging around. Just a Gant friendly bounce on the three. ISU down three with five to go. ISU made several key defensive stops down the stretch. Wichita State with a shot clock violation. Shockers are known for their defense, but ISU's D was awesome tonight. Just over a minute to go. ISU ball down two. Chance to tie or take the lead. Gant takes it strong to the hole, but can't convert. Other end, it's early for Wichita State. All but ices the game with the and one to put the Shockers up five with less than a minute to play. That was the backbreaker. Wichita State remains one of the two unbeaten in college hoops, winning 65-58. The Shockers win their sixth straight at the Holman Center. After the game, the Sycamores were disappointed knowing they gave themselves a chance to win but didn't take advantage of it. We did all we could. Guys fought their tails off on the defensive end of the second half. We out-rebounded them. I thought we were getting the loose balls more than them, uh, doing everything we could, uh, but we just didn't do. We didn't play quite well enough to, to beat an outstanding team. It's a tough one to swallow. We left it out there today. Um, I'm proud of my team. Proud of the community. You know, being from here, it's exciting that that they really uh, came out to support tonight. We just didn't have enough. They're a tough team. Uh, they don't make very many mistakes, and we were just a possession too short tonight. But when you fight that hard, um, you know you, you, you look down. I mean, you know you're disappointed tonight with a, a difficult loss when you have a, a great chance and a great crowd to beat a beat a team. You, it's really disappointing. They're awfully disappointed, but uh, we can't let that beat us Sunday. We got to get right back to it.